Hi, I'm Kylie, a dancer and dance teacher in Alexandria, Virginia, where I get to dance with people of all ages. I enjoy creating dances based on the world around me, and I'm excited to explore dance making with you. This video is part of the Kennedy Center Education's online content, Teaching Artists Present, where teaching artists from around the country share exciting activities that you can do from the comfort of your own home. For today's activity, you'll need your body and space. It doesn't matter how much space you have, as long as it's free of any obstacles that could harm you while we're dancing. So go ahead and move anything you need to move. Explore up high, down low, side to side, forward, and backward. Did you know that we can dance about anything? Dance is an excellent way to share your thoughts, feelings, and ideas about what you see around you. Today, we're going to be dancing about this painting, Imperfect Perfection by New York City artist Francisco. When I create dance, I like to use three steps. Observation, improvisation, and choreography. Let's begin by observing this painting. What do you see? I see circles small circles, large circles. I see layers of circles and I notice this gold shimmery background that catches the light. I'm curious about how the artist created all of these circles. How do you think he made those small black circles? My guess is that he pressed something dipped in black paint onto the canvas. How do you think he made these larger circles? Maybe he took a round object dipped in paint and did a swirl or twisting motion. Or maybe he took a paintbrush and used a smooth circular motion with the paintbrush. Next, we're going to improvise dance based on our observations. Improvisation is like brainstorming in action. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There's just your way. So let's think about those small black circles being pressed onto the canvas. Can you use your hands to press the air around you? Can you press with your shoulders? maybe side to side, high to low. I'm pressing my feet into the ground. Can you press your hip? Can you press lots of body parts all at one time? Press. Now let's think about those bigger circles. I imagine the artist maybe put something on the canvas and twisted with his hand. Can you twist your hand? What other body parts can you twist? Can you twist one side of your body? Can you twist the top of your body? Keep exploring twisting in lots of different ways. I also thought maybe he used a paintbrush to make smooth circular motions to make those bigger circles. What does it feel like to move smoothly without any stops or starts in your movement? Can you move smoothly, making a circular pathway with your arm? Smooth circles. Can you make smooth circles with your hips? And smooth semicircle or half circles with your feet. And finally, let's think about that shimmering gold background. That word shimmering makes me want to kind of vibrate my body or wiggle a little bit. Can you shimmer with your whole body? And it's covering the canvas. Cover all of your space. Shimmering. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to shimmer. 
can you shimmer just your hand? Just your leg? And now shimmer your whole body again. Now that we've improvised ideas based on our observation, it's time to make a dance plan. This is called choreography, when we set movement choices. We are going to use an ABC pattern. Each section of our dance will have a steady eight count. Let's count eight steady beats together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, for part A, we're going to press. Stepping out with your foot and pressing with two hands. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For part B, we're going to think of those big circles and thinking maybe about those smooth brush strokes the artist might have used. We're going to reach out with the body side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For part C, we're thinking about that shimmering gold background. Let's take some shimmering hands and go across in a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only thing missing from our dance is a beginning pose and an ending pose. Can you create a shape that reminds you of the painting? My shape is going to be rounded arms. At the end of my dance, after we finish our shimmering fingers, I'm going to end in rounded arms again, this time on the opposite side. Let's try the whole dance, parts A, B, and C with counts, starting in your beginning pose. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold your ending pose. Let's try it one last time with music. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Let's do it one final time. This time I'm not going to count, but try to keep those counts steady in your head. Listen to the music and enjoy yourself. Starting position. Here we go. You just created a dance based on this painting, Imperfect Perfection by Francisco. You can use those three steps, observe, improvise, and choreograph to create new dances about the world around you. I hope you enjoyed dance making with me, and I encourage you to explore other videos in the Teaching Artists Present series.